So here's what I do when I calibrated my NEC. Um, I'll just show it through. First, I plugged in the HDMI, and I know you can use the um, USB, but I have an HDMI cable. Uh, so then I have, you can see the window, my just main thing. You right click and go to display settings. Well, first off, you want to open in the other window your your uh, PDF of your calibration square. So we this is the main window. I have this set to extend display. Um, this might look different on your computer, but uh, mine number two is the projector. So if you go identify, it'll start flashing a two on the projector. If you go to one, it'll flash one here. So you want to do two, and then now we're going to play with, while we're projecting the, um, the calibration square, we're going to change and cycle through all the, re the resolutions. So my recommendation is to set this one at the display resolution that this is factory set out. This NEC is at 1024 by 768, and it's landscape. You will notice that it's going to be a little weird if you change it to anything else because the width and the height is gonna be skewed. So once we change that, um, you can go ahead and minimize this or close it. This is my calibration. So you can make this, I'm gonna show it to you on the screen, but basically it's gonna project down and control L to make full screen. And then control Y, you're gonna start, depending on how far away the projector is from your table, what you wanna start at. Um, but we wanna change the zoom. So my, I know my zoom is 26.4, but that might not be the case for you. So you might have to start guessing. So like start at 15% and then see how close it is. So like 15% is here. So this is what it would display in. And it projects over on top of the on top of the your cutting mat or your um, calibration or your rulers. And you can see how close you are to it. At which point then you can also decide if your um, projector needs to get squared or not, or if it needs to get tilted forward or backwards uh, based off of how far it is skewing your lines. So I'm gonna show that in the camera, the top down camera, by moving things over. Um, So first I need to move the piece over onto, by clicking and dragging onto my, um, onto where my projector is projecting. So notice that my projector is facing down so I can look at it and actually read things. Uh, there's a key you can press on the menu, just press the menu button on the actual projector. I can't reach it right now, why, why, it would show you. So here, Never mind this part because um, yeah, that's my screen recorder, which is recording the audio for this. So here um, is it. We're just gonna make this full size. So control L and then we wanna um, kinda guess our zoom. So this is much, much too small because up here you can't even probably see it. So we're gonna change the zoom by control Y which is typical, so we're gonna change the zoom. Um, I'm just gonna guess. I actually know what it is, so just pretend I don't know, only 26. Okay, so now we can line up the, the squares. You can tell it's not at all where it should be. Now, how do I change the, um, the resolution or not change the resolution? I'm gonna change it back real quick. Um, you're gonna see a distortion. So you can see here how, um, for example, at eight by eight, I hope this shows up, I'm gonna zoom in. 12 by 12 here. It's slightly taller than it is wide. This is not a great example. I need, let me find something a little bit more dramatic. So this was um, 1280 by 720. So this might be actually what you are defaulted at. 
So if you're noticing severe distortion for squares. So here the eight by eight is, you can't even see it here, 12 by 12, is much uh, taller than it is wide. That's an indication that either you need to change the position of your uh, projector and tilt it, or you need to change the display resolution. The display resolution is the easiest thing to change, and it's probably, for this model at least, what you need to change it to. So I changed it back to the recommended. And you can see how it changed back to a nice, reasonable-ish size. So at this point now, you can probably, um, you should probably check the projector for sewing recommendations in the uh, group file to see whether or not you should square this up first. Mine is sitting on a shelf, so we've leveled it and the table is hopefully <laughs> leveled. But you can see that like down here, oh, you can see some parts here. Sorry, I'm away from the mic. Is pointing down a little bit below one, you move the mat around. And you can see that, say, up, upper right-hand corner is skewed a little to the left, even though the bottom right are forming at right angles. So I would actually um, lift the left side, this side up, to point this, this side toward that way. Once you have the ratio right now, you can see that, say, exactly the largest size. I want it to be off from any of the other re the aspect rectangles by the same distance from the horizontal as, as the vertical. Um, so once you've gotten that, you know that you've got the correct display resolution, theoretically. If cycling through those do not work, now you're going to have to physically go to the projector, which is over there, and go to the menu and change the aspect ratio there. I have it on auto, but you can change the aspect ratio there. Cycle through all of the aspect ratios and see if you can get it where um, the rectangles are approximately the same distance difference from the left as the top or whatever you have from horizontal from the vertical. Once you cycle through all those, then you can change the display resolution, do the whole thing again. Um, but if you use the factory display resolution, which for this model is uh, 1024 by 768 and stick this NEC on automatic, it should come out right. So after that, it's pretty standard to what you're doing. Um, you want to match up this rectangle, and this is my calibration. This is obviously not the one that Sasha so was made. So I know this is a little small, I need to bump it up. So control Y. We're gonna pretend we just went through every stupid iteration of this. So I'm gonna be a little bit, um, hopefully this helps.